Okay, um, so you know you're guilty of this. You take all those digital pictures and then you gotta figure out what do I do with all these thousands, maybe hundreds, fantastic of uh, photos. They're just wasting away in your camera or your computer. So we'll show you all sorts of innovative and easy ways to try and show them off next. Well, even if you've been uh, taking digital pictures for a long time, you may not realize all the cool things that you can actually do with those images. So, right now it's tech time. And that's uh, why we've called upon our syndicated technology writer, Mark Saltzman, who's joining us with some great ideas coming to us via Skype from Toronto, right? You got it. Hi, Frederica. Okay, I recognize the wall. All right, so let's talk about, uh, first, the photo canvases. What do you mean? That's right, there's some great services out there online that let you upload your photos and supersize those oh. memories into a gorgeous canvas for your wall like Cute. this. So let me move out of the way. Aww, this, these are you. really big and as you can see they're uh, on a wooden frame so they're perfect, they're ready for hanging and there's a lot of services like this one from Kodak uh, Gallery. There's Snapfish, there's uh, Shutterfly, Flickr. This one here is of my family Aww, and it was sweet. created by posterjack.com. <laughs> a 20 by 20 canvas will run you about $100 oh, wow. and up. So uh, this is great and a great gift for the holidays as well. Oh, I love that. And then you can really have fun with it all and make a game out of it. Uh, not a game like, you know, guess where we are, but a game that you can all kind of get your hands working. That's right. So you can create things like jigsaw puzzles with your uh, digital memories, either the old fashioned kind like this, where you use one of those services that I mentioned to upload your photo and then they actually mail you a tin box with a uh, puzzle and your picture on the front of the tin, as you can see here with this family. And that's great for, you know, a lazy Saturday, Sunday afternoon with the family, or you can do it digitally. There are free programs at download.com that let, let you import your photos and create a, a jigsaw puzzle on your computer. You use your mouse to solve it, or you can email it to friends and have them solve it. Email it to family and friends, and those are free. The physical jigsaw puzzles are about $25 a pop. Okay, great. And then you got to whittle all this stuff down because you've got thousands of images. So you say there's even some uh, photo editing software that uh, you might want to consider. Yeah, so this is great um, for, you know, touching up your photos, removing red eye, cropping, resizing. But software like this, this is from Adobe called Photoshop Elements 9, lets you also have fun with your photos by using what's called filters. You can make your prints, your, your pictures, look like a old western, like sepia tone. Mm -hmm. You can make your family look like a Warhol print, an Andy Warhol print, an impressionism painting, a stained glass window, and have a lot of fun sharing those and posting them to Facebook and just really letting the kids and the grandkids get creative with those photos. So software like this, which will run you about $80, has tons of those filters to play around with. Huh, okay, and then there are digital frames. Uh, what's new? Because we've seen them for a while, right? You're right, so consider these two examples I'm gonna show you, Digital Frames 2.0, because they go above and beyond regular functionality. This one here is a new one from Kodak. It's a 10 inch digital pulse. It's called the Kodak Pulse Frame, and it comes with an email address. So you give this to say mom or granddad, and then you can email photos to it from any oh. cell phone or computer in the world. So it's very uh, convenient to get those photos on the frame. There's also a seven inch model. This runs about $200. The seven inch model is about 99. And this one here is a very high end digital frame from Parrot. It's called the Grand Specchio. And as you can see, actually, let me show you. When you turn it off, it's a mirror. Yeah. So you yeah. probably see my web camera and computer. And then when you turn it on, it also has Wi-Fi, so you can wirelessly uh, send photos to the frame. Lots of glare because it's a mirror. Uh, also lets you read your email, get push news and information to it, uh, surf the web. It's really a neat device. That'll run you about 650. It's one of the more high-end digital frames on wow, the market. Wow, but that is neat. Oh, okay. So, uh, what about some other made-to-order gift ideas that you've got for us? Yes. So finally, there's uh, the basics like digital. Uh, you can take your digital photos and create a hardcover book. So you upload it to Kodak Gallery or Snapfish and Shutterfly, and they send you a few days later a beautiful photo book with captions of your choosing. There are uh, check this out a cheese platter. So yeah. you take your favorite photo and you create a ceramic oh, uh, cheese platter, a cutting plate. Uh -huh. So imagine going to someone's house for a housewarming and you give them some food on there and then you leave the plate with them as a keepsake. So that's a nice, uh, clever oh, idea. That's very clever. There's playing cards. See, there's a photo oh, of a family. Yeah. So this will run about $20.
the, the, the uh, cutting board's about 35, by the way. Even ceramic tiles, I'll leave you with that, from 10 to $20. You can outfit your, your bathroom, your, the backsplash in your kitchen with uh, your own custom tiles, with your own artwork or own photos, and have a lot of fun that way. Oh, those are very great inventive ideas, and they're inexpensive, perfect in time for the holiday season. Mark Saltzman. You got it. Thanks so much. Good to see you. You too, Have a great Frederica. rest of the weekend.